What's going on guys? Today I am going to be installing and reviewing these Oedro all-weather mats. They were sent to me by them for review. Just a disclaimer there. These are going to be for the 2019 and up new body style Ram 1500 crew cab truck. So these all-weather mats are 3D scanned and made out of a TPE material, which is supposed to be environmentally friendly and odorless free. And they'll help protect your carpeted floor from rain, mud, snow, and pretty much anything else that they can catch. They also come with a little user manual and a couple extra plastic clips in there just in case your floor anchors break somehow. They're a nice rigid material, but they do have some flex to them with a nice kind of rubbery feel. So they're not too rigid to where you can't bend them or contort them to fit a little bit better if you need to. Uh, most all-weather mats like this that come in a box because they have to get folded to fit, uh, I recommend laying them out flat like this for a little while before installing them and just kind of letting it lay like so. As you can see here, there's like minor ripples happening right there. Over time, that will flatten out in any severe cases. Uh, where you have like a corner that got completely bent for whatever reason, uh, you could use a hairdryer or a little bit of a heat gun. Be careful to not damage it, but heat just a little bit, and then you can uh, reform it a little bit, or you can just, without a heat gun, you can just bend back the opposite direction of whatever way the crease is to try and combat that. So let's go ahead and install these. Of course, we're gonna start with a bare floor. So if you have any other kind of mat in there, make sure you remove that first. You should have these two plastic anchors built into the floor from the factory. And we will take the Oedro driver side mat. You can see it's the driver side one. It has this little brake pedal depression. If you sit really far forward, I recommend moving the seat back. This will help you a little bit. I sit far enough back where it's really not a problem. Gonna get everything lined up, and then you'll snap this down into position. Same with this one over here. So there we go, now we can do the same thing with the passenger side front mat. Again, if you need to, move the seat back to help get the mat into place. Now we can go ahead and do the rear mat, which is a little bit harder because it's one big mat. Again, remove any other mats you have in the way. And now you're gonna wanna move these seats forward if you need to. Uh, usually I don't have to. And then I went ahead and I flipped up the rear seats just to give us the most room possible. So we're gonna take it so that the straight edge is facing towards the back of the truck. I'm just going to go and toss it in there. This will work for the crew cabs also with the under seat storage. As you see, it does not go all the way back here. I don't have the under seat storage. And I will move over to the other side to get that latched. There we go. Now another thing to note is that there should be some clear protective film on here you're going to want to peel back. Also if for whatever reason you don't want the logo here, uh, you can remove these two metal Phillips head screws and then you can pop this plate off. It'll just have this black uh, oval right here, rectangle. So up to you. Now let's talk about uh, fit and finish here. So we'll start with the front driver's side. Very excellent fit. 
along the inside hump here, as well as along the front of the seat. Probably the best I've seen. A uh, very good fit along the door sill as well. Lays nice and flat up here under the pedals. The only place where there's any issue with this mat is there's a little bit of a gap right here. Again, you could probably heat it up with a hairdryer or something and push it over. That's not a big issue. It might even relax over time because uh, once it is up against it tight, it is a great seal. So these are legit, uh, probably some of the best fitting mats that I've reviewed. Now the passenger side, again, very, very good fit along the door sill, along the seats. Tiny gap here, not a big deal at all. Same over here, very tiny gap, nothing major. Fits nice up here by the feet. And we do not have the same problem on the passenger side as we did on the driver's side right here. So I'm really happy with that. And now to the rear. Again, it lays nice and flat the whole way across the back. Pretty good along here. It could go down a little bit more, but I think over time it will relax a little bit. Uh, same with right here on this corner. Again, you could use a little heat if need be, but lays nice and flat in the front here. It does not obstruct the foot vents at all. Nice clearance and fit over the center. Driver's side, same thing as on the passenger side, just over here, a little bit of a gap and it needs to relax more. Uh, this one was folded in half in the box, so I'm guessing that's why we have this going on. But again, good fitment up here around the seats doesn't block the vents. It does need to relax a little bit right here. Uh, I can probably set something heavy on there and it'll be fine after a few days. Um, and then good fit back here as well. And of course, thanks to these quick snap anchors, you can just simply unsnap them, remove the mats from the vehicle, rinse them off, scrub them, whatever you need to do, vacuum them, however you need to clean them, let them dry, wipe them off, and throw them back in. Very easy compared to carpeted mats. So that is going to do it for these Oedro all-weather mats. Again, thank you to them for sending me these to review and install. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, comment with any questions, subscribe for more videos like this, check me out on all the socials, and as always guys, thanks for watching, have a great day.